Hi there, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, I'm going to talk about my country number 93 to visit every single country in the world and that country is Costa Rica. So to go to Costa Rica, we actually started in Panama and we had a connecting flight in El Salvador. And to be honest, when we were in El Salvador in the airport, we actually thought this country looks very interesting. So I look forward to going to El Salvador one day. After reaching Costa Rica, we had some problems with immigration because they said that, that the health form that we filled up online wasn't completely filled. So they had to take us to this other room where they had to clarify all our documents. And after maybe 30 minutes to one hour, we managed to clear immigration and off we went outside. We decided to get a PCR test also in this airport because we didn't want to have any hassle by the time we flew back home. This was our last stop during our trip in South America and we wanted to make it as seamless as possible. The PCR test in the airport, I forgot the exact cost, but I think it's around 99 US dollars. And they pretty much have a tent near the airport where they would take a bus to take you there. And basically this PCR test is full of Americans. What I like about the PCR testing facility was it was very clean, it was very well organized. And actually when they shoved that thing up your nose, it doesn't hurt as bad as the other places. It still hurts a lot and you still tear up, but it wasn't as bad. After the whole PCR test experience, we decided to grab an Uber to take us to our hotel. I had booked a night stay at the Merritt Aloft Hotel and uh, we got this Uber and the Uber driver was a little bit weird, but that's okay. At least he got us to our place where we were staying. And this hotel, I would say, is the best hotel we've stayed at during our trip. The place was very relaxing. It was close to McDonald's, so we managed to get food across the street at night when we were hungry. There's also a grocery store nearby. So we went to the grocery store and we actually got a chance to buy some souvenirs for our friends and family members. And while we were in the grocery store, it was crazy. We saw a robbery happen right in front of us. This guy apparently robbed someone outside this grocery store and his two security guards were chasing after him. And the guy who robbed this place, clearly he was experienced because there is no way those guys were catching up to him. There was also a movie theater across the street from the hotel we were staying at and we tried to watch Spider-Man there. And unfortunately for us, it was dubbed in Spanish and I don't want to watch Spider-Man in Spanish. I want to hear Tom Holland as Spider-Man. So we decided not to watch it. The last night that we stayed in Costa Rica, we stayed in this hotel called Costa Rica Merit Hotel Hacienda Belen. And I decided to stay there because it was gonna be New Year's Eve. It's a nice hotel. I thought it was gonna be a nice place for me and Karen to spend our final night in Costa Rica. And turns out this was a bad decision. While our other hotel was very nice, it was very relaxing and they had amazing breakfast. This hotel was very snobby and I really hated the vibe here. It was like the most clicky hotel I've ever been to. Which tells me I should avoid any resorts from now on that is full of Westerners because it's gonna be a shitty experience. The one redeeming quality that this hotel had though was that their service in the lounge was really good and they were really warm. And the next day when we had breakfast, it was also really friendly and really warm. The food was good as well, which also obviously makes the stay a little bit better. And at night, Karen was really excited to do the countdown for the New Year's Eve, which we did. However, it was super loud because everyone's partying it up in New Year's Eve that after the countdown, it was really hard to get some sleep because it was just so freaking loud. So the next day when it was time to fly out of Costa Rica, I was really happy because my stay in that hotel was just mediocre and the end of my trip did not end in a high note. Now, obviously people will say, hey, if you go to Costa Rica, you should go outside the city and check out the other places. And I think you're right. But at the same time, Costa Rica was not really a country that vibe with me very well so i don't think i'm gonna go there again unless i have to for a connecting flight or something anyways that's about it for this video don't forget to like subscribe leave your comments below and don't forget to sign up to our travel free newsletter where you can get a sense of cheat sheet on how to travel around the world you'll also get the latest tips strategies on how to save money on travel for canadians how to go on around the world adventure travel for canadians and how to travel to get more freedom in your life as a canadian you can sign up for a newsletter in the description below until next time i'll see you then